Hello friends, welcome back. So uh, in this video, uh, I will talk about a customizer API. So uh, and what is a customizer and how the user can use it. Okay, and also developer how like how developers can uh, add a custom settings um, to the customizer. So basically, the customizer is a framework for live previewing uh, for any change to your WordPress site, including the themes. Okay, so and the user can customize various. Um, various things like uh, for their theme, whatever the theme settings has been provided by the um, by the team and then their sites including the menu, widgets, sidebars, uh, site title, logo, icons and everything. Okay. And also the themes and the plugins can also add uh, options to the customizer for their uh, for the plugins and theme settings and then users can use it for the live preview. Okay, so let's see in the action how the customizer looks like and how the customizer works. Okay, so in my local site, if I go to the appearance menu and here you can see the customized uh, menu, I'm clicking here. So now you can see this uh, customizer uh, panel and the customizer page where uh, on a on a left hand side, you can see all the settings available, which we can say a customized uh, customizer panel okay where you can see all of the different sections and panels and if each sections have their own settings okay and here on the right hand side you will see the live preview of your site okay and whatever changes we make uh, to our site it will be uh, it will be uh, reflected here okay so if i like if i go here and if i just update the like up, click update something you can see this uh, this has been updated and also if i just click on the display site title and tagline uncheck then it will simply remove the site title logo uh, site title and the tagline so this way like a uh, user can make a changes uh, to the to their sites and also parallelly they can uh, preview how how the changes affect their, uh, their sites without publishing it so when the when the uh, user are customizing their sites using this customizer so uh, it won't be applied to the actual site until they say uh, they publish uh, the change uh, they publish the changes okay so they can also publish their the user can uh, save as a draft for the later publish and then schedule okay like if the user want to schedule the changes uh, like uh, like i have made some changes to our site but i want to publish it or make it live at particular time or date then i can use a schedule i will go back uh, i will come back here okay and there are many other settings you can see apart from the site identity colors and dark mode so you can also change the color for example here so let me just use the pink or something let's just keep this color okay now okay so i'm changing i'm keeping these colors and everything okay and uh, let me just go back here i will click it updated here okay and uh, there are multiple like you can also change the menus so these are the menu available and these are the uh, various locations and from the drop down you can see the list of the menu created and that menu you can use for changing so if i if uh, if i'm in the primary menu which display in the footer in the sorry in not in the footer but in the header if you if i click on uh, something like a uh, sort um then it's it simply says block page about page and then the lord i on something so right away like from the customizer you can see how what is the menu uh, looks like and how it applied to the front end and once you're satisfied with all the changes then you can publish the changes or you can schedule uh, schedule the changes or if you want to come back later then you can uh, save all the changes as a draft okay and similarly you can also apply the secondary menu which is in the footer menu currently it's a social menu icons okay and then also you can have a sidebar it's like like in the menus you can also create a new menu from here okay so you you can try it out um then there are the widgets all the sidebar like footer sidebar which is provided by the default uh, 2021 team and this footer to sidebar which we have registered from the uh, from the child team right so that uh, and all the widgets so you can you can add the widgets from here it's like a this is a block editor ui uh, user interface okay um then there are multiple like home page settings you want whether you want to display static page currently we are uh, displaying the static page as on home page and then post page as a block page if i click here on a block page then i can see the list of the posts right so you can you can also traverse uh, your site in the customizer panel 
okay uh, here in the preview uh, to see how things looks like uh, because there could be uh, there could be uh, settings which only applies to specific page and how we can do that that we will see in the next video okay and this is the content options uh, that uh, these options i have added right uh, all of these options so if i uh, here you can see in the block list page you can see the publish date the categorized and the tag so i have added a settings registered custom settings okay which control whether you want to display date or not by default it will display so if i click here it will it will remove or hide it um and then if i uh, publish then it it, uh, it won't be displayed into the front end so let me also just hide the display tag okay and later i will make a change here and to the footer i have already made some changes updated here okay so i um and let me just add instead of the updated so you can see here it's a uh, um it's uh, also updated when i make a changes so let me just add a copy text something 2022 okay now it's you can see there's a uh, person copy which uh, translate to our icon and then the year and then the like proudly uh, proudly powered by the wordpress okay so in the 2021 team this is like a static uh, static text included into the footer but i have in the child team i have override the footer uh, footer template um and then uh make it added the copyright text option then replace the static uh, static text with this uh, copyright text option okay and all these things like in the next video i will see how i have implemented all of the stuffs okay and then uh you can also add additional css if you want so if you want to add or modify some changes that also you can add a css so uh if you know about css as a user and you are like you don't know how you can you can modify um the css or some little bit layout of your site and uh through the team then instead of that you can use the additional css uh, option okay and then let me uh, if i go here either i can publish or i can save as a draft or i can schedule so let me just uh, save as a draft first okay and now you can see this uh, change set has been co uh, copied so i'm copying um then um let me just uh, paste this one here so we can understand what is it looks like so did it provides a customized change set uid and if even if i i will i remove this uh or uh, blocks a uh, page slash block still it will work and using this uh, sorry uh, using this url where well, you any uh, you can share with any user and they can see the front end so for example if i uh, come here uh, go to the noter tab okay and then paste the url and now you can see uh the updated so uh, whatever the changes i have made into the customizer you can see all the changes here okay because uh, all the changes has been saved into the post table or post meta table uh, not not post meta sorry in the post table okay and all and there is a custom post type called change set a uh, customized change set okay so th that is the post type where all the uh, different uh, ch customizer changes will be saved okay and if i if i uh, go back to the main site here and if i refresh then you don't see that changes because i have saved it as a draft not i haven't published so it won't affect the end users who visit your know, visit the uh, sites okay but um but if i want to make sure that okay i have as a user i have made some changes to the customizer but before publishing it or before scheduling it i want i want to share the changes with the other users or or my team members who can you review the customizer changes right and once they says okay this looks good it's up you can you, you can go ahead and you can publish it or you can schedule uh for the for the publishing in the future something like that okay so that that you can do so how like let me just also give you a scenario how this looks like uh, into the database so this uh custom change set this customized change set uuid is actually the post name of the customized change set um a post type so if i go here into the database uh go to the options table here i have on the database and just go to the post name and here i am passing okay so you can see this uh, post okay uh, which is has a draft uh, post status has been draft and you can see the post type is the customized uh, chain set 
okay and all of the changes uh, whatever changes we have made it will be saved into the json format into the post content table so if i double click here you can see that i have made some changes to copyright text option which i have added then the blog name to the site title i have changed and update uh, added updated keyword then 2021 child and then background color i have set right um so that and what is the type theme mode or options mode so you can see here theme mode you can see here the option you can also put a copyright text i have added option so that means uh, it saved uh, these options has been saved on the wp options table as an option uh, individual option and theme mode means that uh, there is a options called theme mode underscore based on the like and the underscore the uh, theme name uh, in that which uh, the theme modes will be saved okay so it depends like uh, as a developer, we can uh, we can tell that okay the this whatever settings uh, we have registered or custom settings we have registered whether it will save as a individual options into the WP options table or it will be saved as a theme modifications of that particular active theme. Okay, so that way, and you can also see that this uh, display tags and everything uh, we have made some changes uh, customizing all these changes has been saved into the uh, post content table and uh, customizer api will use this uh, saved draft uh, to render or up to render the updated content um, into the front end and reflect it okay so if i if i go ahead and schedule these changes for example i schedule the change here let me go here um let me just schedule it here like i'm scheduling for um 7 july next month <laughs> okay and um, then the schedule okay so copy and i think the same uh, your uh, user id will be there change it uh, uuid and if i refresh it uh, and now you can see the post status is future right and then post uh, post date is the uh, same but it's set to the not a post modified it's a post published right so post date is the uh, july month okay uh, because it's a future post date and it's post status is future now wordpress will automatically publish uh, the customizer api uh, automatically uh, publish all these customizer settings which we have made at the particular day uh, july in the particular given date and the time okay so that customizer api will handle that so this way you can um, you can uh, make a changes to customizer right away you can publish it you can save it as a drop so that next um, next time you can carry over that changes and make some other other, other changes or uh, if you want to um, like you, uh, after saving a draft you can share with the other uh, users or other team members just for a review purpose you can also schedule it and everything and you can just share the preview link okay so this is the main uh, about a customizer and also uh, you can change this to like you can change it here let me uh, close it here so you can also like from these controls uh, in the bottom you can change the layout of your way that you want to customize for the tablet or you want to view the mobile view here right so all these things and so basically the customizer provides a way to to make sure that whatever changes you have made uh the settings um whatever changes you have made into the settings and how it reflect into the front end like before publishing the changes you can do you can see the preview and once this looks good to you um then you can publish the changes right so so like customizer provides a very useful it's a very useful feature for the users who can um switch a team then make a necessary changes and do a stops and then they can publish like what uh, for example in the same team i have changed the designs and layouts i have added some different a menu prime uh, lo menu locations then um, uh, some other stylings i added more uh, options for the different styles and different layouts into the customizer which i want to try before publishing it uh, just want to make sure that okay everything looks good into the into the preview panel and once i satisfied with all the changes then i can publish the changes right so then it the end users will also see the changes okay so let me just go ahead and publish these changes right now okay and then publish it so if i go here now and if i refresh now you can see the updated updated changes here okay so yeah um that's all about the customizer okay so please after watching this video you can try it out the customizer settings see how uh what are the settings are there uh, and it also depends on the theme if you have added any some other theme and it if that theme provides some other customizer options then you can see that here 
try it out try it out this uh, uh publishing of publishing of the uh, change uh, customizer settings including the save drop schedulings how it looks like into the database uh, uh, see the customized uh, change so it post types a uh, post content where all of the settings has been saved and everything okay yeah and now in the next video i will uh, i will talk about how i have added this content options um co different customizer settings okay and how it will be useful okay so let yeah see you on the next one jai wordpress